Welcome to Splash. I'm Mark the Pond Guy. Today I wanted to talk to you about the Splash Ecosystem Pond and how it is that all of our ponds are crystal clear with happy healthy fish and not a lot of work. The diagram you see here is what we use to build all of our ponds. Whether they're small 10 by 10 ponds or acre sized lakes, the philosophy behind it is the same. When we first started building ponds about 30 years ago, skimmers really weren't around. They weren't the norm. It wasn't until the mid-90s that the skimmers, pond skimmers, really came onto the market and were available uh, across, the, across the United States. So what did we do in the, in the late 80s was put the pump on the bottom of the pond. We would build a gorgeous pond, but putting the pump on the bottom of the pond created a lot of work for our homeowners. All of the debris from the surrounding trees, leaves, twigs, sticks, pollen, solids in the fish waste, all of that would drop to the bottom of the pond clog your pump, and you'd have to put on your scuba gear, go down and unclog the pump. Additionally, you'd get a lot of debris built up on the bottom of the pond. So it, the ponds were just a lot of work. Nobody could uh, enjoy their pond. They were constantly working in them. The mid-90s came around, and the pond skimmer came around. So it allowed us to move the pump from the very bottom of the pond into the skimmer. Instead of drawing all the debris down to the pond, now all of a sudden the pump is sitting in the skimmer and all of the debris gets sucked into the skimmer basket. There's a basket in there that you can just grab a hold of, empty it out, and that took care of all of the pond maintenance for the pond. And if you're unfortunate enough not to have a skimmer in your pond, you are the skimmer. You have to be the physical filter. You have to get in there and physically clean that pond somehow. It's a closed body of water, and so you have to physically get in there and clean that pond out. The skimmer does it for you automatically, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. The skimmer is way less work than you physically doing it. Okay, so we talked about the skimmer and what a fantastic job the skimmer does in physically removing debris from the pond. The second part of filtering your pond is your biofilter. And you can see in our biofilter example here, there's three different parts to that biofilter. The first part is a swirl chamber on the very bottom of the biofilter. The water goes into there and slows down. It becomes less turbulent. It allows it to flow up evenly through the next part, which is our filter mat. So in a typical biofilter, we have some filter mats, we have lava rock, bio balls, bio ribbon, any kind of nooks and crannies to grow as much beneficial bacteria and enzymes to do the work of cleaning the pond. In the biological filter and really everywhere in the pond, beneficial bacteria and enzymes uh, colonize. They consume the ammonia that's left over in the fish waste and a little bit of organic debris that's left in the pond. The byproduct of that reaction is nitrites. There's another type of bacteria and enzymes in our biofilters that consumes the nitrites. The byproduct of that process is nitrates. Nitrates feeds all your plants, your water hyacinths, your lilies, your lotus, your reeds, your rushes, your irises, all of these gorgeous plants in your pond form big beautiful leaves, big beautiful flowers, and they consume all of the nitrites. If the pond is cycle is going like this and, and the pond biofilter is doing its job, the skimmer is doing its job, the end result is crystal clear water because there's no nitrites in the system to feed the single cell algae which causes green water, and your plants are absolutely gorgeous. You're minimizing the amount of string algae in the pond because the flowers from your real from the plants that you really love the flowers suck out all those nitrates so it leaves very very little left for the stringy fuzzy type algae keep in mind it's not a swimming pool it is a pond so i do like to see a little bit of green fuzziness on the rocks i like to see a little bit of string algae in there but if it's excessive the first line of defense is to add plants That is a quick and dirty lesson in how we do the Splash Ecosystem Pond. Following these steps allows you to enjoy crystal clear water, happy, healthy fish, and not have to put a ton of work into it. Enjoy your pond, not work in it. Thanks, we'll talk to you soon.